Here are four of the most powerful things that are blowing AI experts away about what the newest image generation model from OpenAI is able to do. If you don't know me, my name's Kat GPT. I do non-pretentious, non-patronizing education about AI. Number one is binding, which is where you tell a model that you want to create an image of a variety of objects and have them all labeled usually with just the name of the thing that it's called. This is something that models, image models, have been surprisingly bad at since we started making them. The new model isn't perfect, but it's pretty darn good. Number two is creating an array of items. In the past, if you've asked a model to create a list of 30 very specific items, like a vintage stamp, a red thumbtack, a tiny purple hat, the model would get some of them and then it would duplicate a bunch, miss many, and then usually add in a lot of random extra stuff. The new image model is doing a better job than ever at actually sticking to the ones that you asked for. This might not seem as practical, but it indicates the model's greater ability to follow instructions, which is super important. Which flows into number three, which is creating discrete objects. Here's what you got before if you asked a model to create an image of numbers one through 10, each number a different color. Garbled unreal numbers, way too many numbers, messed up sequencing, overall overcomplicating and missing the mark on a task that a three-year-old could do. And fourth and finally is maintaining awareness of space. For example, previously, if you uploaded this photo of an empty room and asked AI to add furniture to it, you would get something like this. Completely changes the room, completely changes the angle of the photo, and obviously looks very AI. Now, you get this. We're seeing AI learn how to add to an image rather than ingesting it as source data and then regurgitating out something brand new based on that original source image as inspiration. 